All right, we're here with my uncle Clarence, who uh, gave me the 1973 Bolins tractor, and he gave me that tractor because this is his tractor right here. Uh, it's an Aaron's. What? Uh, when did you buy it? 89. Bought it in 89. Um, what attachments did you have when you bought it? You had a mower deck, right? Mower deck, snow blower, cab. That's about it. Oh, it had a cab on it. Yep. Now, uh, doesn't this have a bucket? Yep. Yeah, bought the bucket a couple of few years back. And uh, he's used the crap out of it, to say the least. Uh, it's got a Kroller Magnum 20 in it. Uh, can you pop the hood? Uh, where did you get it? What, uh, was it in Presque Isle or? No, Fort Kent. In Fort Kent. Was it a dealer up there? Or? Dealer up there in Fort Kent, Maine, yeah. Now, uh, how many hours do you think are on it right now? 1700. 1700 hours on it. And you use it to mow the lawn, clear the driveway. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> you've got so many weights on the back. The tires are full of fluid. Uh, why'd you put so much weight on it? For the bucket. For the bucket on it, okay. It's a two wheel drive, so it needs all the help you can get. Yep, now uh, when you snow blow with it, uh, you just keep all the weight back there? I keep all the weight back there. I add some more even. Um, and those are the tires you use in the wintertime? They're gripping up for the. Yep. Because if, uh, yep. if you notice here, it's a pretty steep driveway. Um, have you had to do anything major mechanical to it? Nope, no? not at all. No? The engine's been good and the it's hydrostatic? Been hydrostatic's been behaving, everything's been working fine. But, uh, the problem with the lift system on it though, it's very, uh, I have to rebuild it every once in a while. Now, uh, is, uh, it's, is it still a dealer up in Fort Kent? Or? Yep. Yeah. So you yep. can still get all your parts if you have to. Can you start it up for us? Can you start it up for us? Can you take it for a little spin? I got the camera, buddy. Is that power steering? Power steering. Nice. It runs, uh, there's no mechanical link between the steering wheel and the steering head, so it runs off a valve on the bottom of the steering column. Oh, wow. Now, the controls over here. So this is your speed control on the right. Yep. This is your part. Forward. Yep. Reverse. Park and the high roller. Up and down. And typical uh, throttle, pull for choke, it's got headlights. What are these guys down here? Car take off. Oh, okay. And uh, a wrist breaker for the steering wheel. No, nope. you can do it without it. It's got no. Uh, it oh, that's right, back. no connector, won't kick back, okay. So, geez, uh, <laughs> judging by all the weight in the back. It, it looks kind of impressive from the back. It certainly <laughs> does. It's certainly got a big butt on it. Uh, but it's very hilly here, so you've got to get a lot of traction for that. Well, that's very cool. Thank you very much for showing us your tractor.